third year of medical school is when you are finally in the doctor's office and in the hospital. And I did OBGYN and then family medicine and then surgery. My surgery rotation was really, really fun. I had this young hotshot surgeon and all he wanted to do was be in the operating room cutting. So we were in the office one day and um, I evaluated a patient. She was there for like maybe gallbladder. And I noticed that she had, uh, she was wearing a tank top and she had a very abnormal looking mole. She had some little bit of sun damage and it's very abnormal looking mole. And I was like, do you mind if I do a skin check? And so I did. And then I went back and I talked to the surgeon. I was like, I'm really concerned about it. I think it might be, you know, maybe some melanoma developing and his eye roll. This third year medical student telling him that there's a patient she's concerned has melanoma. Um, so we ended up moving the patient over to the procedure room. I got to do the biopsy, which was super cool. And in my first time ever doing stitches, uh, just simple, very simple stitches. Um, and the pathology came back and I didn't actually find out until we were in the operating room that she was positive. It was malignant melanoma and it wasn't just superficial. It was deep and we needed to make sure we got good margins and we even needed to check a lymph node. So, um, we did the excision and then he had me do mattress sutures, um, I think it was horizontal mattress sutures, which is a, a kind of special type of suture in the arm to bring all of the tissue together. We caught it early and luckily we got her taken care of. Medical students and residents have a lot of experience and knowledge left to gain before they are proficient, but they're looking outside the box because they don't even have boxes in their brain yet to put people in. And so sometimes their perspective can be really helpful.